Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to a new video of Bloons TD Battles. Let's hop right into into Battles TV. And the reason why I'm going to Battles TV is because I'm going to do a post commentary somewhat. And that is me just going to Battles TV and talk about what I did. Because I was just playing in literally the uh, VC and everything. So let's stop right about here. Where did I play exactly? Here. That's the one. Like, I, I played around 12 games. 15 games, somewhat. So, so let's start off with Nasuki versus Higher Power, Justin, Blair, and then so on, so on. I also need to make sure that my music is a bit weaker in volume, right? There we go. Let's put it on five times. So, firstly, first, I went. Um, Ninja Boomer Ace, and my opponent went Ninja Boomer and Cobra, which is obviously the best way to go for, which is because Ace counters Cobras way too easy if your opponent is not as good as Sweat, for example. But it's got to top uh, two speeds, there we go. So I went and used for good whenever he uses this one. He also uses this uh, Eco Nerf. I don't know why Battle TV doesn't like to show it. But yeah, I got eco nerfed and I almost also died there because I was like scared I might die there. But it's fine. As you can see, I always use my eco nerf whenever he uses his. And uh, yeah, we almost technically died there, but not really. So I saw he went for his Cobra and thought, why not going for my ninja as well? And then he uses this for good again, and I use my own best as well, making sure I get a shit ton of money. And that is pretty good. No more lightning stabs anymore, which is good enough. However, his eco is pretty good, I would say. His eco is really, really good, but it could be better if he actually uses offensive push on round 7 and send me those pings early on, then he would have been better off, but that is fine with me. Uh, I saw my Bonic Boomer just be safe to go for the, um, what's the name, the Bunchitsu. In case he sends me Camo Ceramics. And obviously, Bonic Boomer cannot defend Camo Ceramics unless you go for the Turbo Charge and use the ability. But that is also fine. He went for 4 Corpus. I thought he's gonna go for the adjustments, but no, he went for the offensive push and sends me like 2 space BFPs. And maybe even 3. No, just, just 2. In total, which is gonna be um, four in total. So he's gonna go for the uh, misdirections. I already, I think it boosted already, but we'll see. Yeah, here's the boost. I mic with my um, Ace, the ODS. I went for the Flash Boomer boosted right away. And I think I already said what as well, which is much easier to defend. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go and Sabo again. That defends pretty easily. Here I could just ground zero, but that's not really fun, is it? So I just went for the normal defense, which is just going for the Blunchitsu spam. Sabo, and that is such an easy defense. Now I went for my Spectre, and yeah, we are being chilling. Then I went for some mix eco, obviously eco glitch. Went for uh, Blunchitsus, in case he sends me a CMG and whatnot. So, round 20 hits. I thought he's gonna send me a CMG because it's speed, but he did not. And he kept on ecoing. I don't know why exactly he was ecoing. I could just go for another two more Spectres and I defend pretty easily. Now, the sad part is sadly that he is gonna die to round 22. Spoiler alert, I know. I don't know how he died to the uh, AI, pretty much. But yeah, he, he died. I don't know how. There we go. I actually have no idea how he dies there. Yeah, two Plunchitsus and whatnot. That's so weird. And um, yeah, let's go on the next game, which is our boy Justin. I was really pissed off that we had this map, honestly. It's a uh, 10 speed. Nothing to explain here. It's both from Sniper vs. Sub, Glue, and Tech. He went for Knockout, and uh, I didn't expect that at all. So I thought always that he's using, you know, the, uh, what's the name, Solder Wounds, but he did use Improved Boost, and I was like, okay, then I'm fine with leaking. You can see my farm pretty decently here. I'm actually gonna sell my farms as well, go for the Zemper Farm. And you can see, top 2 speed, it's gonna allow me, I'm just gonna Lightning this real quick. 
It didn't see like I defend, uh, defended pretty nicely, but I didn't. So I saw that he has tech shooter and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you real quick and boom, he does. It is pretty simple, tech shooter cannot defend against camo balloons, which makes sense. Then I went to another game, obviously there's many games. And then we played against our boy player here with Ninja Boomer Spec. Uh, I don't know why it says 59 seconds, but we go in. This game was definitely not this slow. I guess this is just a bug. Because he definitely survived till around 20 something. I don't know why. This is like pretty slow now, but it's fine. So basically, he went ninja spec and boomer. I'm like really confused. So I haven't really used my super boost up up till now because I didn't want to use it. In case he has Kopiko. So I was like, sure, I'm gonna be like really passive and try not to give him any economy, even though I didn't know that he had like no eco power at all. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna be really risky and not use it. Or well, I I meant I was really risky and actually use it, and I figured, oh, he does not have it. So I kept on using it after like round 10 as well, which is really good. So I get like two plantations round 8, which is pretty decent. Could have gone on with another one, which I did, as you can see there. Pretty, pretty decent, I would say. And obviously I went for another plantation, because I can. I didn't mean to press on round 9 the, uh, what's the name? The Suvika boost, sadly enough. Then he also sends me eco whenever I stopped using a lightning, which is not really smart. But again, I don't know why he was so passive in the first place. He thought I'm gonna be like dying to pings when I clearly did not. Also, Plex do not nothing because Ninja is on strong and the mortar is gonna put everything down. Then he goes for the quick shot. I use lightning and that was easy, PDC, lemon squeezy. I phase one because he's a power line bot. Obviously, I'm a passive bot, but that's better than being a uh, powerline bot using, you know, quick shots and the activities, for example. As you can see here, the activities. Here I can always boost. I think I boosted here as well. Yeah, I did. Or else I would have not defended it like this, basically. So I definitely used to boost. Uh, my homie dies here on round 17 with my whites. Mako was also pretty decent, could have been better, but again, I got it around 14. BIA. Now what I could have done there is literally not lose to these kind of players. So I went to Ninja Farm Motor. Also, why is this loud again? Oh, that's why I'm just gonna loop this. This is a little bit quieter. So I went against Sec G. I thought he's gonna go Ninja Super because I also set off with Ninja. Like here, look. He's going for the farm. He had Kopiko as well. Then I thumbs down when I saw the ninja. There we go. Or phase one basically, because I hate when people go for the uh, ninja from super play. As you can see, I was really toxic. But that was only because I had a challenge to do, and people liked it when I did that in the VC. So he used all his uh, copy eco. I went for the, a little bit of an aggression here. Went for my motorbike, and you can see I'm a little bit toxic, as you can see, that's classic me. Due to the fact that this guy is a powerline bot using this kind of shit. Then I obviously laughed at him, went back to ecoing, make sure that he is dying. I don't know why people even go for farm second if he literally died to round, I don't know, 18. He probably died to round 20, because he sucks at this video game. And I'm not kidding. So I don't see him sending me any more, which he didn't. He even died this round, most likely. We'll see. I think he died this round, even though he has three double shots. Oh no, I sent him a BFP or something. Oh no, he's deloaded me, and then... Here comes the funny part. Somehow... I died there. Somehow I died there. I had no motor, nothing. I even used a motor, so I don't know what happened there. I have literally no freaking idea, but I died there. And I was so pissed off because I literally motor stored it, and yeah, I just went to this. I'm a bot, obviously using Gloom Super Village. And guess what? I won. 
I literally won. Obviously, I'm gonna be really aggressive with my mix eco, making sure that my opponent here is not gonna be good here. You can see my eco really being really good here, like holy shit. So I phase one because he went glue super, and I was like, dog, can this can this knight get any worse than this? And you can see my eco is way better than his, but only because his strategy is a little bit more expensive. So he kept on ecoing, I was like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? You have no lightning. And you need defense for region rainbow rush. So what did I do? I said I'm in region led. Rainbow's behind. And he's gonna die to this. You know why? Because he didn't use the boost. Wow. What a real bot moment. And I said 100 eco more than him. With farms, by the way. So I kept face warming before he left. And it took like two minutes before he left. So I didn't wanna show that, that real quick. But yeah, that's basically how it is. If you play against this shitty... Switchy, you expect me to face bomb the shit out of you. You can see I also played a lot of Ninja Farm Order because it's my favorite Switchy of all time. Even for the Ninja, I found a uh, down because I thought he's going Copy Eco, which he didn't apparently. So I was like really, really annoyed. And uh, I went for, you know, this real quick. Because I already thought he's going Copy Eco, but it apparently did not. So you can see I'm being really toxic, due to the fact, again, because of the challenge, and then of obviously thinking he had copy eco. And you can see I did not use my super boost at all, because I still have two usages left. Two freaking usages. Then I use it around 10, and I thought, maybe he does not have it. So I decided to rush him around 13 with a funny rush, which is a region rainbow as well. Something like that. Oh yeah, with a uh, Space Reaper and then Region Rainbow. And he somehow died. I don't know how he died, but my bro here died easily. I don't know how. He has no DS and he still died. But you can see I literally play Nature of a Mortar non-stop and it's crazy good. Then our next boy here is uh, Broly. I was surprised he even went Glue Super and then Mortar. I think this is also the game I lost because I was looking in Discord. Same powers, I went phase bomb. Obviously because this is like really annoying. So I went mix eco as usual. Super eco was on tree. He uses I think super eco was really really late as well. I don't know why. But uh, I went for some things. He went for two clues, I went for greens. I went for the double shot I think, no. I went for it now. Send him some yellows, force a lightning or something. But he already has already all done. So I went for 605 eco, went for my plantation, pretty late too, but as long as I can force him a burning stuff, I'm good to go. Or not a burning stuff by signal flare. And what his mistake was is sending me zebras. Like, why? Don't do that. Then here I went for some damage boost moment and looks like I'm dying. I almost died for whatever reason. So stupid somehow. And he thought he's gonna kill me. No. I went for the region rainbow rush and he dies. I think my camo pings even come uh went further, which is weird, but yeah, Ninja of a Mortar is definitely correct. Then I played against Project, I think this guy lost to my Cobras. He also went Salt of Wounds. I don't think he got any Salt of Wounds in this game. Would be really annoying if he did. So he uses uh, a knockout there, which he saw because I saw my submarine there. Went for another one. He did in indeed did not get a single Salt of Wounds. That's why I'm being toxic. Again, because of the challenge. I'm not going to say this again. So don't question it in the comment section. I'm like, oh my god, Candy is so toxic. No, I did it for the challenge. Because people wanted me to be toxic. So it's fine. Um, then I tried to rush him with a little bit of a layered rush, which is reds, greens and yellows. For say, Boomer apparently, he had Boomer. And then goes for the Binding Boomer. Then I stopped at 565 eco, went for my Cobra. Pretty, pretty decent. Um, here I think I went for the damage boost, yeah, because I didn't want to leak. And yeah, obviously I had one more solid left, I think. So I didn't want that. 
Um, I was surprised he didn't knock out this um, reactor at all. So, I was like being really cautious. Of course, I'm being really aggressive as well. I don't really play with Cobra, so I don't expect me to win. So I rush him with a little bit of a rush here. He went for the acid, that's why face bombed. And Project leaked down to 6 lives, I was surprised he survived. Then someone in BC said, don't jinx it because someone <laughs> survived. So I sold everything, tried to be really really good here. Damage boost, just be safe. Bloons were still here basically, and then I rushed him, he went for the acid again. And then acid again here, and still, somehow, dies. That's why face pumped. My eco was pretty good too, could have been better if I had better, you know, Cobra money, but it's fine. It's already 50 minutes in, 60 minutes uh, right now, so it's fine. Oh, here, that's a funny guy. Only two genders, he was so confident he would win this game against my Ninja from Mortar. So I went for the farms down. Of course I was really passive in this game because I didn't want to rush him. Then I faced him because he went for the space balloons, which is really really stupid. Especially for an eco player, you do not want to send any space eco balloon at all. You will lose a lot of eco there. Even if, it's, if this is like 3 powers, you will lose a lot of eco. Like, at this point I would have gotten 1.2k eco, or even 1.5k eco on this round. So, he kept being really aggressive for whatever reason, and now you're gonna see me catch up in this, in his economy. I was like, should I go for 3 BIs or 4 BIs? And then I uh, was like, let's go with 3 BIs. And you're gonna see me catch up in his economy now. I kept ecoing, and would you look at that, I am now way better in the economy than my opponent here. I went for 3,000, sold my 3 BIs, now I can go back to double speed and just focus on my farming because I had way better eco my opponent. For this strategy here, I would have gotten like 5,000 at this point, especially on this map. But my opponent here is really shit at this video game. I even sold my uh, big one and my... Uh, my 2-4 uh, mortar, so I can get more farms. Obviously I went for like 5 Bunchitsus here, or 4, just to be safe against these mobs. And easily defended that. Then I decided to run 30 to send him space CMGs, because he's getting closer and closer to 5k, which is not what I want. Then he sends me another spa uh, region lead rush, which is not really smart. Then I saw my Plunchitsus, saw my Republic again because I want to go for two bombs there. So I went for it. There we go. Run 40, 30 is gonna hit and I'm gonna send him a space CMG, most likely. Oh, Fesculon, I forgot it was Fesculon. No, it's all spaced. So I sent space, he sends me also one, which is pretty fucking stupid. Also sending me a Lattice is also pretty stupid due to the fact I already had a Mortar and my Severo in my field already, which is really stupid. So I used my Sabo. Made sure it is slow down, and I accidentally used two servos because I clicked way too fast, as you can see there in the number. So I saw the one that has already been used and went back to being aggressive. Here, I think I also sent like a couple of fast cooldown. I might be wrong. But he, what I can say is he definitely tried his best, but again, I guess in Shaman Mortar, which the host or the user who is pretty good at this strategy will always automatically win against eco players. It is tough against Ninja of Mortar to lose against eco players. It is really tough. The only, the only ease, the reason I would lose ever to eco player is when I go to you know Discord and don't look at my game. If I get locked in my game and see, oh he's rushing me. Then I will defend. But if I don't look at my game and I see that my opponent is rushing me, then I will reply because I didn't see that he was rushing me at all. You can see I have also full map of farms, so I was like really confident I'm winning this game. I was like, should I wait to run 37 to rush him or run 38? So why not go for run 37 rush with a fast good on? Because he automatically loses here anyway. He has like no money, no eco, he was really shit, so I sent space, uh, space CMG for the last time and went for my fast cooldowns and he literally dies here. 
I even sold all my farms later on just to flex so that I can defend everything that he's gonna send me. And yeah. All my farms are gone. He even sends me like I think it's two CMGs and some BFBs which was stupid. And he still dies. You saw I placed on my ninja at the last second because uh, we had this one bug where the opponent dies in the frame of you clicking on the tower. Yeah, that's basically it. Then we went for uh, this guy here. It's Xish. And I lost. I sadly lost. Because this bitch boy here went uh, copy eco. Dart farm super. And I didn't know he has copy eco because I thought he's gonna go like. Uh, super good boost bullshit, but I guess not. So he went Dart farm super. I went Ninja from Motor, obviously. So I was kind of pissed off that he went copy eco Dart farm super. Somehow I still got better farms than my opponent. Then he face bombed me, I face bombed back right away, obviously. He tried to be aggressive even though he has better chance of winning. Or laughed. I think I actually won this game? I think I won this game. I might be stupid. Did I won? Did I win this game? I think I didn't. But you can see my eco is way better than my opponent. Because I kept on decoying with pings. And yeah, so here... No, I think I lost this game actually. Yeah, I lost this game. I remember now because of the uh, motor saw being st pretty stupid. Yeah, here I, s I sold my game. I could have not win this game at all. Unless I sent him like CMGs already, but yeah, I lost. So I was like really pissed off that this idiot went like cop eco and whatnot. Then I went a different strategy, which is Ninja Sniper Ace. And you can see how good I was in this game. I was like really good here. Five times speed. My eco was so good. And my sniper farms were also so good. It's like crazy. Obviously, see Boogie Boost round three as usual, because that is how I go for it, even with my farms. Usually you should go for round 5, 7 and 10, but here I always go like 3, 5 and 7 because it's just better and gives you early eco. Especially for economy and farming potential. So I went for it. 625 eco, really really decent. Went for this uh, the 3 0. Didn't even go for my camo <laughs> ace at all. I have around 800 eco on round 9, which is really really decent. Round 10, went for 900 eco almost. Round 11, 1000, basically, I think that's pretty good. So I went for my sniper farm here at any point. I think round 14 I went for my sniper farm because this round is so easy to go for, there we go. And if he rushes me, I will gladly go for the lightning, which he didn't. I don't really care if I use the lightning here. There we go, went for my lightning now because I was a little bit greedy. And my opponent here has a bit more of a Nico here, but he could have had better eco if of course, he got a little bit better, but of course he stopped for a while and didn't eco. Which was stupid. God, I could call, I could name this video. Do this and be toxic and win this game. <laughs> like honestly, I don't know why I was so toxic. I think the challenge after this stopped, so I think I wasn't toxic at all. After this game, I think I, was, I wasn't really toxic, unless I played against the Grinder, which I won't showcase the uh, water map against this guy that's obviously even Cobra. Not my cup of tea to showcase, so I'm definitely gonna skip that game right away. So you can see he's going like Ninja Tech, I went Sniper Ninja Ace, and yeah, he dies to my CMG early on, which was really bad for this guy, but I think he DC'd. I think he DC'd before I got the chance to send him a CMG round 30. And yeah, he's DC'd. Rest in peace. I would have won this game so easily because I could have sent him round 27 CMGs right away. Then, of course, we're gonna skip Zen. We don't really want to see that. We played against Montashem. So I was like surprised he went both. As at Sia. Because I knew he's gonna die. Or lose at least. So round 5 hits. I was really, really greedy. As you can see, my darkling is still a 0-0. Zero, zero. 
River Run 8, 3 Plantations, Round 10, 5 Plantations, Round 11 BI. That's the most earliest BI I would have ever gotten. And he still has one plantation. I don't know how he has one plantation, but I got a plant, uh, BI here. He started to sell his plantation there. Sends me region rainbows. I boosted right away, sought my BI. I thought I had the, uh, the thing here. Then he knocks it me out, and I sadly lost because of the AI, not AI, because of the region rainbows regenerating. I was so annoyed. And reminder, I was in the VC, so I didn't have any chance to log in. But then I logged in for the couple of the next five games here, so let's go to Blaya. Blaya, my friend. He has Kopika for the reason. Because he thought I got Sword of Wounds for no reason. So I went for Kopi uh, not Kopika, Sword of, uh, not Sword of Wounds. Super boost, went for my farm. And surprisingly, he went for a copy eco. I was like really dumbfounded, really. I was really dumbfounded. So he uses copy eco around 9, I think, or around 10. And he has still one more copy eco left. Which is weird. The thumbs up and face him again when he rushed me, I think, or not. Well, he dies on round 20 anyway. You see why in a second. And that is because round 20. Has the funny more plus balloons, baby. So I rushed him, and he is dead. I had twelve thousand in my hand. I even bought myself a, you know, the uh, Bionic Boomer into Turbo Charge, just in case he die. Uh, he sends me like an all out rush, so I could damage boost Turbo Charge and win. So that was basically it. Then we got Teddy. I don't think I lost this game, so let's go to top five, uh, top five speed, or I mean. 5 speed and we'll be fine for a while. Here he went uh, long tower boost, knockout and lightning. He uses a lightning. That's why face bombs. I think here I'll actually use my super boost here. Yep, there we go. Face bomb just to smile again. <laughs> I don't know why I was so toxic in this game. He's a newbie. So yeah, you can see I like face bombing a lot. He knocks it out. I used another lightning, I think that was my first ever lightning. So that was fine with me. Went for a bank, run it own. And I easily survived this, because again two clues on splatter is pretty pretty decent. Then I went for my BI, he knocks out my heli again, face bombs him, and yeah, he literally has no farms anymore, but his economy is really good. I don't know why he kept on ecoing though when he has a farm strategy, but he's gonna die anytime soon. To the AI, most likely. So I thought I'd get my BI up, but I didn't sadly. Which is so sad. So I boosted here. Right about here. Boosted. Region. Uh, rainbows are nothing to compare to me, so I just defended everything. Because the Mitch Boost Lightning combo is correct. Now, I'm surprised to say, but Kuwait was going Darkling, uh, Darkling Glue Farm, and I went Mortar, Farm, and Super. This game will be, not gonna lie, a 1 speed. Or actually, for the first 10 rounds, I'm gonna go double speed. He uses uh, Eco Choke here, so I didn't get any money, sadly enough. And he had Sword of Wounds. So I was like, damn, if he has Sword of Wounds, I will definitely not let him get my money there. So I think he uses Sword of Wounds here, I might be wrong. No, no Sword of Wounds, nothing. I didn't even leak, so that was the screen like there. So he went for his farm, and I sold my mortar just so I can get my Super Monkey up. And then I think he uses Quickshot to use uh, Sword of Wounds here. Or no, 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 he uses Sword of Wounds there and kept on being really aggressive. Here he uses Quickshot, I think. And yeah, he did not get anything, which is good. So, of course, it says he has three more Eco Chokes left, but obviously he did not use already all of them, which is good. Here he uses another Quickshot, and I just use the Lightning. There we go. 
I don't know why people why we cannot see quick shots here, but the game is gaming. English is Englishing. So yeah. Dartling is uh, really good here. I was also really aggressive here, because you can do that in free power-ups, but not in boost only. If you do that in free power-ups, you're fine, but in boost only, if you do that, you're gonna die on round 13, for example. Because he got lightning and damage boost here, which boost only does not. So let's go back to 1 speed, it's round 10. Here, I was like, should I rush him, let's? And I did. He went for the plantation, and you can see I'm out farming because <laughs> I got better economy. So it's like, should I send him whites? You know me. I'm sending him whites. I'll definitely send him whites. I think. I did not. Apparently, I don't know why. So I used a lightning here, in case he uses assaulted. So I got basically a W move here. I think here is where I got my laser blast because of this stupid region Zebras. Yep, there we go. It's really a bit slow, but it's basically normal speed. So I sent whites or something. And he sent me some camo pings just so he can get like assaulted, but he did not get any assaulted. So I'm happy. So I was a little bit more aggressive here, send him like lads and then Zebras whites on this one specifically. And I said in this as well, I'm surprised that he survived that. I even said eek. Look how much lives he got left. 81. For normal players, they would have died. But I think Kovite is fluged or maybe someone else. So I have no idea. But I trained my opponent so hard because he could not get a single sorted at all. And me memeing is a classic. Definitely classic. I, I decided probably to boost here, I think. Because of this AI. Yeah, I think I boosted. No, no, I, I actually used the lightning, never mind. But boosting would be much easier, honestly. So I kept on ecoing. Made sure that my opponent does not get a single... Um, sorted wounds at all. I don't think he used his sorted wounds here. If he did, he could have gotten free win. I don't know why he sent me Ramex, like, quick shot advice. I just boom, uh, toe boosted and that's easy win. I chucked him up because I didn't expect him to use that. Alright, so he sends me a Moab. Pretty easy defense if I go for my Super Monkey and then I'm fine for a while. So I went for my Super Monkey, saw the Moab and was like, yeah, that's easy win. All I need to do is just get this today's of last guy to uh, epic range. And a defense, and also this other guy to be laser blast as well. So we do not leak to a single balloon, and we did it. Then, surprisingly, I think his bank filled up and he went for his BI this round. So I was like, no, I'm gonna go for the BI, uh, BFP, and rush him. My eco is really good compared to my farms. But again, this is a farm strategy. So, uh, we need a little bit more than that. You can see, he went for his BI, saw this clue as well. Which is not good for him. So I went and sent him a BFB. I was like, also face bombing in real life. Like, that's not what you do with that clue. You're gonna die to BFB, especially not having a BI around 14. So I kept on sending BFBs whenever I can. I even made him sell his BI, which is really, 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 really good. Like you can see here, BFB is slowed down to its maximum because he only has glue for a stall, so it's fine. I also kept on sending the the uh, whites to cockblock his, you know, his stupid dartlings. So we're good here. And I kept on ecoing. Look at my eco. Look at my farms. At this point, I couldn't. I can just eco. If I had village, I would have gotten like 2.2k eco. And I would have been fine. But he uh, collected his BI most likely, went for the laser blast. However, however, he still decided to sell, and I'm not kidding, decided to sell his BI on round 22. Or round 23, I think. So he could still get the, the thing, yep. 
the economy. Nope, he's still sorted. Since he does not have a boost, he still went for that. And yeah, we are cooking. He is somewhat dying. I don't know, he's still got the money for the liquefier. But on my screen and on this Bellos TV, this is how it looks. This is how it looked. He was technically dead to a Moab. So I sent him another BFB. Because I saw he's gonna sell his uh, laser cannon. I was like, no way, Jose, you're gonna do that, buddy. So I sent him another BFB while he sent me one. Because again, you need to be a really, really aggressive or else you lose. So I went really aggressive and kept on ecoing. He is basically forced to sell his BI again. Uh, I went for, I think, 3 laser blasts and damage boosted because I didn't want to die here. Or actually no, I went for Motor Soul because Motor Soul is OP OP on this map as well. And I went even for a Plasma Blast over Monkey, which is pretty good. I could have waited till next uh, next Eco boost, but I decided to sell my farm instead, which is good enough. Then he sends me camo pings, which is kind of stupid because I already was forced to go for this round. So I leaked like for live C, I think, which is fine. My opponent was definitely trained. My eco is way better than my opponent <laughs> by three times, basically. So I went for another farm, and I did an oopsie here, but first of first, let's go for the plantation, obviously. There we go, and you can see he almost dies here because of the AI, but with the liquefier being there, he survived the ceramics. I still have no idea why he went for the BI all the time, but I, if he already knows that I'm going to be really aggressive. But uh, yeah, he... Keeps on getting like banks, BIs. If I were him, I would definitely just go for the Republics and everything because at this point, you're basically trained, my guy. So, kept on ecoing to a trade dust, most likely. I saw the opportunity to go for the factory and I was like, it is time. And I accidentally sold my factory, uh, my Republic, which meant to be going for the factory. And that was a bad play on my part, sadly. So, I went here, obviously, um, get ready for the factory, and kept on sending. Whenever I see that he, you know, sold his defense, I kept on going for the BFBs. As you can see here, he probably sold his liquefier. Yep, there we go. So he had like no chance to go for the uh, BI at all. If he goes for that, he's like really screwed. So he kept on sending me a BFP and even ruined his own economy there, which is really good for me. So he sold his BI, a, B, a bank I meant, sends me another BFP. But at this point I had technically two, two factories technically. Because look at me, I'm, I kept on ecoing, kept on ecoing. And this is where Kuwait finally dies. Good game to him. And that was really, really well played by me, being really, really aggressive with a meme strategy, by the way. A meme strategy is crazy. So of course, we're gonna skip this map and go to Natsuki versus only two changes once again. I face bumped because this, this is the guy who we played before and lost to, I think. So yeah, we went top five speed here right away. Went for a uh, bomb shooter instead of ninja. Because Ninja is a bit better than Bomb on this map, but I went Bomb anyway. So, there we go. My economy here is not really good. Could've been better, but again I have Corpus, which gives me a normal passive economy. By uh, money making, basically. I went for 100, eco uh, 100 lives perfectly, which is really good. And obviously tried not to leak, as see I got more, more Corpus here. He went glue sub, and I already knew he's going super monkey, so I kind of rushed him. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna rush him. Use uh, weak throw efficiency, weak throw camera efficiency, and see what he's gonna do about it on round 16. As you can see, I saved up my money there, and made sure he's gonna like go for the uh, lightning and everything. There he goes, he goes for the super monkey. And at this point, I sent him like a little bit too many 
be a feast, but again, it is needed. Then also he uses his uh, big bloom big to, uh, big uh, book that big bloom slow. There we go, big bloom slow. What a weird ass name. So I went for another motor in case he sends me a moab. I don't know why he didn't send me one, but yeah, I said oops because I was like really scared I'm gonna lose here, but he did not rush me at all, which is really good. So two more games to go, and then we're good, I think. Was it one more game? It is one more game. It is against Hana. This is also where I played really well, actually. So let's go, Hana. He uses also Eager Choke. But instead of Lightning, he has Simish Boost. So that, this is the worst play that Hana would have done because Lightning is more reliable than Damage Boost. Sure, Hana has Start from Super. But uh, Hana, if you see this video, you played this really terrible. Like, you leaked down to two lives, by the way. That's a spoiler alert. Like, here, I think Hana. Like, dies almost here to two lives. Something like that. Like, it was really close for Hana to literally die here any second now. Seven lives. Then I sent him, obviously, blacks to be really, really aggro. Or at least greens first to force a sport and then blacks. So that the pings are getting there. I think he even boosted, or she. No. But look at that, three lives compared to my 147 lives. So I played this really well. Of course, Hannah was really, really passive. I don't know why I was so passive, Broski. Don't be passive. So I went and sent him some yellows and forces him to boost or her to boost. Leaked down to one red. So I was really aggressive, and this is basically my play so I was like mix equaling. Went for my plantation, or not really, because he, she sent me one region led, so I had to go for it. And also sent some space uh, zebras here for something at least, but apparently did nothing but a sport. So I went for it and went for a bank. Now you can see I'm out farming, because my economy is better, my opponent is not rushing me. And they themselves went for the bank. So I went to say, well done, send a little bit of a bloom rush, force a sport, and that's basically the end of this game already. Because you see, they died. And yeah. Of course, look at my lives, look at their lives. I'm good, I can even go for my BI, and I went for my BI. It is so easy. I went even for a 1-1 uh, on both my wizards here, so I can survive this round easily. There we go, sort my two wizards as well this round, so I can go for my dragon's breath whenever I need it, and there we go. Now Hana here will definitely lose to this BFB, uh, to this mob, and I was like crying, but surprisingly, they died due to my camo ceramic, and I was like super happy that I haven't lost to a dot farm super in this arena basically, but again, they were in use in Copico, so I won against a non Copico Dot from player. Dot from super player. So, this is 43 minutes long. I'll try to make it a little bit shorter, but hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. It's always free. You can always change your mind later. And I'll see you guys as usual in the next video. I will now go buy myself some food. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, love you guys, and see ya.